Hello everybody. Yeah, hello everybody. Um, so I can't believe I'm actually posting after one day. I'm not going live for a full month. That's very surprising to me now. Since I always casually do that. Don't let me try to adjust my hair in the foot in the camera. Anyways, um, so let's continue. Dang, I have something in my eye. All right. All right. Anyways, so we have to wait for it load. To it loads. Here I am. Good morning. Oh, you are dirty. Didn't we give her bat like 500 times already? Eh, it's a kid. All the kids always get dirty. The parade is this week. <clears throat> okay. Um, I would want to read the news, but I think we should give you this, like, a bath. Well, I don't think you need a bath. I think you just need to get a little clean down your face. That's all. New hairstyle. Yes. Oh, we have two. Wow, I never knew. Wait, did we get two of them? Right, grandparents. The documents from Aunt Anne give the address for Corrine's grandparents as her... As her... I don't know how to read that. Um, okay, I guess that's a address. I'm not sure. Hello, I'm reaching out to you from Norway. I am the adoptive parent of your grandchild, Corrine. I have learned that she lived with you for some years. She still remembers her on me and longs to hear about her father. Could you help send letter? Let's keep reading. In the news, our country continue to make continues to make preparations as we look forward to the annual national national parade and celebrations of hard fought Independence Day. Cool. I think I want to go to a store after see if they have any like any like dolls or anything like that. Let's go. Can you? No, no dolls. Or any toys, I guess. Can this just give you a full on bath? Oh god, you need to eat food. We haven't said a word since we got home. Do I not have food? Okay. I'm like, do I not have food? <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna eat that. I don't care if you're tired, you're gonna eat that. You have to eat. You have to eat every day to be healthy. Come on. A story before sleep would be nice. Do you have time? No, maybe tomorrow. Oh, okay. Good night then. I think it said that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one. The Ben's born number. I don't know how to read that. Um, the Red Cross found her. She then put the ad in the paper, giving you away again that I respond to, but your start in life gets even sadder. The documents also show that you were a the Ben's born child with the number four, I guess that's a two, no, that's an eight. Is that an eight or a two? I don't know. So you lived in the Le Ben's born home call, called God, God tab? I don't know how to read that. When the war ended, care, cared for by German nurses. The when the war ended, care cared for by nurse by German nurses. The Norwegian government sent you to your grandparents in Germany after the war ended because they want they wanted to empty the Lebensborn homes as quick as possible. I don't know what the Lebensborn Lebensborn homes are were so that's another thing I should look up right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. The Ben's born was an SS and initiated state were supported uh, register associated associated in Nazi Germany with the goal of raising the birth rate of Aryan children of people people classified as racially Pured and healthy based on Nazi racial hygiene and health ideology. Huh. Back to the game. The game closed. <laughs> Usually it doesn't do that, but I guess it decided to be to do, to be annoying right now and do the close. <laughs> so we have to restart the whole thing. I don't no, not the whole thing. Like no, we're not gonna have to like restart the whole thing. You think we're gonna continue? Cause it was like the next day, you know. 
I'm not sure though. I hope that we're gonna continue where we were. Good morning, good morning. Yep. So we did continue where we were, which is good. Um, what do I, what do I do? Oh, feed you, feed you. Oh, we, we <laughs> don't have any food right now, so let's go make food. Munch. Should we go in? Oh, what did it say? I didn't read it. I was just tapping. Don't worry. Okay. Bye. And then home. Why are you moping? What's wrong? Hey, let's get some dinner. What's wrong? I saw some kids from my class. The ones that bully me. They said some mean things. They were saying that I can't go in the par parade. Can they hurt us? Of course not. I don't know. I would like to see them try. Of course not. Okay, that's good. I'm a, like, in this game, I'm an adult. Believe me. I'm not scared of no little children. They kind, they kind of scare me. Don't. You're a big girl. Don't let them scare you. Here, your dress is ripped, so. Do you want to draw with me? Hmm. Yes, I would like that. Hmm. Can we do something else? I'm sorry, I don't have time now. Yes, I would like that. Okay, nice. Let's go. Oh, it's the same photo as yesterday. Or are we, like, replaying the game? <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to eat? Could you read me a bedtime story? Of course. New entry has been added. Oh, there's two pages. Okay. The Nazi gene gen genetic ideology. Tragically, you have been judged by your genes in your whole life. First by the Nazis, and but now the Norwegians. The Lebensborn program was created by Adolf Hitler, Hitler's right-hand man, Peter Himmler, to create more Aryan. I think that's how you say that. Children to govern. Watch, I'm gonna say Aryan wrong, and then my friend Gio is gonna bug me tomorrow about how I said it wrong. <laughs> Children to govern their future society, which they call the which they call the Third Reach. People with that with what were considered the right genes were thought to be valuable, while people w with the wrong genes could be killed. This is a, this is the same ideology that motivated the genocide of the Holocaust. Oh, and I know my friends also watching this right now. Ideology. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Oh gosh. Okay. I. Ideally, ideally, I think that's how you do it. SS officers should be father children with women who were considered uh, to be Iran. Is that Iran or I Iran? I don't to read that. In three generations, but Himmler couldn't tell married officers to be unfaithful. Lebensborn ended up as a support program for the children of Ar I, I don't know how to say that dear Ariane or Ariane yeah whatever women and German soldiers around half of all Lebensborn children were born in Norway because the Nazis thought many Norwegian women were mother of good blood but they but they saw our culture was too weak, so the children were raised by German nurses. I'm going to, maybe, I'm going to go try to, like, re I'm going to look that up on my phone instead of my, instead of my, uh, tablet. Because we all know what happened last time. So, Ariane. Meaning. Okay. Uh, it, on the adjective thing, it's uh, related to den denoting a people speaking an Indo-Europe language who invaded nor northern India in the second mil mil millennium. I don't know, I read that. BC. When your smoothie just spills on your pants. Not my, like, pants I'm wearing right now, but I have, like, pants on my bed that I was going to wear after. 
like tomorrow I had them ready on my bed and um they just got dirty so uh I'm not gonna wear those tomorrow but anyways you see displacing displacing the driving and the other aborigo people peoples but in the noun it's a member of Asian Aryan people so I think it's probably the adjective one um that's you know crazy what happened in the past because like 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 it says in the start of the game this is a true story because it is um this did stuff this stuff happened in the back that uh, back in the past when the day when um how do you call it when oh a war was starting yeah we are rather right okay so then we can go to bed may 14th wednesday today's wednesday did you know that hedgehogs hibernate? Do they? Well, a lot of animals have a hibernate. Am I just, yeah, I think I'm, do they? I think they do. Wait, hedgehogs. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Mm, mm-hmm, that's nice, honey. I did not, you know everything, don't you? What does that word name hibernate? Mm-hmm, that's nice, honey. Mm-hmm. Okay, you need a bath again. It's a short day, so you should be able to get home. I don't know if it's a short day everywhere, but like I know, I don't know if it's a short day in different countries. I think other countries have different short days. I'm not sure though. Yeah, but there's something fun today. Do your best. Don't let this be yourself. Do your best today. Always give your child encouragement, so they feel like they're good and they could do some and they could do something right. Hey, how's your day, Mr. Berg? Was that wait, Mr. Berg? Berg, did, did, oh, the new teacher. Mr. Berg was acting a little odd today. Do you want me to have a talk with him? What do you say? It's probably nothing, don't worry. What do you say? He said that I need to stay strong and that I should always be eager to learn. What do you mean by that? Do you want me to talk with him? Did he seem sad? Probably nothing special. Did he seem sad? He seemed a little sad. It was probably nothing. Do you want me to have a talk to him? Maybe he's going somewhere. I don't want to tell her that. I mean, maybe he's going somewhere. I don't know. Where's he going? Or maybe not. Don't worry. He's a substitute teacher, right? He, maybe he's leaving. No, he can't go. I don't want him to go. I want him to stay. Or maybe not. Don't worry. Maybe you'll have an even nicer teacher. It happens. A change can be good. D- or maybe not. Don't worry. I don't want to hurt. I oh god, I hurt feelings. <sighs> that makes me sad. I don't want to hear her feelings. I. I want to give her the truth, you know? I want to give her the truth of what I think and stuff, but, you know, it's just difficult with kids. And I don't want to upset her, and I accidentally did. Give me a story I like, of course. Oh, thank you. Hopefully she feels better in the morning. I mean, we have cake, so she would like that. Got her... I need to sit up better. better. Your mother left you at the God's Sab, the Bensborn home, during the war. From the outside, I don't know how to read them. I just stopped trying. Looked luxurious, but inside the children like you lived with strict discipline. Only the best behaved got to play with toys. There is also a worry that children who didn't develop on on an Aryan look can look can have this. I don't know what. It was that the definition. I don't remember. Look can have disappeared from the homes. After all, there is no Aryan gene. It is just a name they gave the Nordic look. The Nordic, I guess, like Norwegian. No. Because Norwegian is like Norwegian, but not Nordic. I don't know what that means. Nordic-looking people. For what they sought, Ariane children should have blonde hair and blue eyes. If I'm getting that word wrong, I'm very sorry, guys. Um, That word is just... I don't know how to pronounce it, you know? God, can the light turn off? <laughs> May 7th, Thursday. I'm so... Anyway. Morning. Oh, she's sad. She was happy, but then she's sad. Don't worry. We have cake. You, I know you like cake. I hope. Yeah, that was really tasty. Yeah, so she does like cake. 
Here, I want to read this. It's like the mail. The news. Plans for the upcoming na national parade continue. With local school children looking... Um, uh, school with local school children all looking forward to waving their flags in celebration of our con constitution day a parade route is planned with children meeting in their classmates at s school in the morning before walking from the school from the school and through the town i should go to school soon try to be careful okay don't stray too far from the school party try to be careful Okay. Is this a pride flag? Not pride flags. Yeah, what are they called? Pride flags? Okay, I don't know if pride flags means LGBTQ. Because it, I mean, that also means. But I think it said pride flags. I don't know. I don't know if pride flags only means like LGBTQ. I'm not sure. What happened? What's wrong? Well, I said what, what's wrong. Ms. Berg told us today that he's not going to be our teacher. I don't know. We'll get, we'll get some stranger. Mrs. Solium. He was also there today. Uh, maybe it won't be so bad. Well, sometimes they change teachers. What else did he say? Well, maybe it won't be sometimes. He was mean. Scolding me for talking back when I didn't talk back at all. What? I'll put him in his place. Maybe he's nervous about being new. You get used to him. I'll put him in his place. Heck no, you do not talk to my child that way. Please don't come to this school. It'll make me stand out. Okay. He doesn't see it. Do you want food? I don't have any cake, but I can make you something. That looks good. Here, you want this? Yum. Oh, that's not look good. Still want it? It might be good. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Oh. I don't want a new teacher. Don't be sad, honey. You have to get. You just have to get used to him. Mr. Solium might just be be just as good as Mr. Berg. Mr. Berg. Don't be sad, honey. I really don't like Mr. Solium. Teacher's last day is the parade. You need to sleep. Try to get some sleep. We'll figure out to t this to tomorrow. Try to get some, go to sleep. Of course I can. That's nice. Yeah. See, like, if she's ever sad, then yes, we can read a read her a story to her. But when she's ha when she's happy, we don't. Okay, we have way more to read. Okay. Around seven, uh, seven. Where did I get seven from? Around five hundred children lived in Laban's born homes. After the war, some were adopted or sent to their families. The Norwegian government tried to send some of these children to Australia in order to get rid of them, Fear, fearing great costs for child support and that the ch children were mentally mentally disabled. You were one of you were one of around two hundred and fifty children with Norwegian citizenships who were found to be in Germany. The twenty five they couldn't they couldn't place were declared to be mentally disabled and sent to live in a mental asylum. Aww. Do we have anything new here? I don't think so. Any new photos? No. Just that one. Turn off the lights. May 16th, Friday. Good morning, Corrine. How are you today? What's the matter, little one? What's the matter, little one? I'm not speaking to you. I don't want that tone from you. I understand you might be. You must be accepted. Take the time you need. Oh, dear. What did I do? I'm sorry. You don't know me. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to process right now. Um, yeah, she's having a bad day. I'll just, uh, you want food? I, I can make you some food. Make you good. Yeah, that looks good. Make you good dinner, please. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> That's very good. Thank you. It's time to go. Be sad. I won't. I don't know what I clicked. All I saw was don't be sad. <laughs> Hey, hi. Oh, you 
you need to buy this? I'm gonna go. I don't care what y'all think about my child. Gonna, I want her to have fun. And if you're gonna go let her have fun, and then get it, then I'm gonna let her have fun. And you don't need to criticize me for having a child that's a different race than all of you. That's not raced. Grandparents who loved you. I can tell by your memory of your German grandmother that she is that she was kind. The way she writes, if her mother actually wants her back, I can't stand in her way. Show shows me that she would give, she wouldn't have gave gave given you away for any other reason. It's so sad that the that the Norwegian government took you back from a loving home and sent you to a mother who couldn't and wouldn't keep you. You could have grown up in a place where you have been just an ordinary child. I feel bad. It's May 17th, Saturday. No school. Oh no. Karine? What the? Hilaria. I'm sorry for going too early. I was too excited to wait. People are looking happy. God, please don't do that to me. Oh, I don't see Mr. Berg anywhere though. Kareem, you can't just leave like that. Wait for me next time, okay? Stay close, Kareem. Okay, okay, well, I even have my flag. Oh, the kids are lining up. I have to go over there. Kareem, wait, stay where I can see you. Okay, have fun. Stay where I can see you. Okay. My ribbon. They said I wasn't allowed to be and trample, be here and trample on my ribbon. <laughs> well, guess what? I'm a trample on them. I don't know what trample means, but whatever. You were right. It was a dumb. It was dumb to come here. I want to go home. Oh, honey. I didn't mean click that. No, Kareen. Hello. I'm so sorry. I couldn't find you. I saw what the others. The other children did to your nice ribbon. I gave them a stern talking to. Mr. Berg, oh, you did? To behave like that on our, cons our Constitution Day. I'll make sure they get attention. Please don't. They'll just take it out on me. I, I'll i think about it. But, of. Hold on, what does that say? Oh, it's just. But, of course. Oh, I didn't read that. Uh, hello there. You must be Kareen's parents. It's so nice. To, it's so nice to finally meet you in person. You have such a wonderful girl here. You must, you must be the teacher Kareen. Are we talking about? Thank you for taking care of Kareen. Yes, but my Kareen is the best kid I any parent could ask her. Thank you for taking care of my Kareen. I want to make sure I stu I want to make sure that every student thrives. I believe that our origins do, don't matter. Our potentials and actions, they're what matter. She doesn't deserve the way they treat her, but don't worry. He's a good man. He seems like a good man. I'm doing what I can to put, to keep her as safe as possible. Thank you for everything you have done. That's good to hear. Thank you for everything you have done. I should thank you for raising such a kind child. No parents manage that, and not enough, maybe. Anyways, anyway, Kareem, should we join the parade? Yes, please. Sorry, I'll take good care of her. Here, Kareem, you can have my room. And don't forget to wave your flag. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. That was amazing. Did you see all the people and all the flags i really enjoyed the parade you're right about your teacher being nice i'm glad you had a good time and and you and you look great with your room too yeah you did i'm so sorry the first one it's so 
cute. He's a nice guy. Uh, today was a good day, I think it said. I wish more people could be like Mr. Berg. People don't have to be mean. They choose to. Most people are, most people are stupid. Focus on the nice one. Yes, Mr. Berg is a good man. He is. He is. Okay, so it's like the end of the video, but I went a little like five minutes. But I'm gonna finish up to the. I'm gonna finish up this day, and then I'll stop the video. Their kids hate me, but the kids are stupid, right? But how? My parents left me too. I'm glad I have you. Please don't leave me. I'm not. I'm not going to leave you, Kareem. German grandparents and that they loved you there is a chance that they can help us in some some way let's hope they rely they reply to my letter and quickly okay so I hope you guys have a great day or night bye